For this pattern, we'll need a few supplies. We'll need our scissors in order to cut our yarn, a darning needle in order to weave in all of our ends. I'll be using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. And then we'll need, I'm going to use four different color yarns in order to create this. These ones I'm using Lion Brand Lazy Days yarn. It is 100% polyester yarn. And my colors I am using are Surf Spray, Clay, Leechen, and Taupe. For this, I'm going to start off with my taupe color yarn, and we're going to create a magic ring. From here, I'm going to chain two. This chain two does not count as a stitch. Now I'm going to put into the magic ring 12 double crochets. Now that we have our 12 double crochets, pull our tail end of our magic ring in order to close. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that very first double crochet stitch of the round in order to join. And there we are with row one. For round two, for round two, we'll once again chain two, and then starting into that very same first stitch, we're gonna put two double crochets into there. And then we're gonna put two double crochets into each stitch going all the way around. So this round will end up having a total of 24 double crochet stitches. And then at the beginning, we want to slip stitch into that third or into that top of that very first double crochet stitch of the round in order to join. And there we are for round two. For round three, we'll once again chain two. Then into that very first stitch where we slip stitched into, we're going to put two double crochets and then we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch and we're going to repeat this all the way around two double crochets into the first stitch one double crochet into the next stitch this round will end up having a total of 36 double crochet stitches made And then slip stitch into the top of that very first double crochet stitch of the round. And there we are for round three. Now from here, we're going to want to just for a size check, take our water bottle 
then take our circle and measure it up and make sure that the circle is big enough to cover the entire bottom of our water bottle. If you need to make your circle bigger, then add one more row and our next row would be our chain two, double crochet twice into the very first stitch and then one double crochet into the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way around. And if you need to add another row after that, two double crochets into the first stitch, one double crochet into the next three stitches. So just working your circle all the way around. And from here, we can go ahead and tie off with this color yarn. From here, I'm going to take my next color yarn. I'm going to use the surf spray color. I'm going to attach the yarn right into that same stitch where we ended. And from here, I'm going to chain four. Now I'm going to skip over three stitches. So one, two, three, and into this fourth stitch, I'm going to double treble crochet. So yarn over three times, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through your first two loops, yarn over, go through your second two loops, yarn over, go through your third two, yarn over, and go through your last two loops. And then we're going to want to do another double treble crochet into the next stitch. And then one more double treble crochet. And there we are for the first little section here. Now what we're going to want to do is start working behind this little row and into these three stitches. So we're going to do a double treble crochet and I'm going to pull my work. I find it easier to pull it like this. And then into that first stitch because we had our three we skipped over going to work a double treble into that first and then work a double treble into the next two And there we are, and that is what that just did. So yes, it looks a little bit funny right now, but continue moving on. We're just gonna repeat this, same pattern going all the way around. Skip three stitches, double treble crochet into your next three. And then work back behind into these three stitches, double treble into all three of those.
And so as you can see, it's very slowly starting to form up. And so we just want to keep repeating this all the way around the entire bottom border of this bag. Now for here, we're almost right to the very last stitch. Because we're doing the back forth, <laughs> we're going to, our third double treble is actually going to go into this same stitch where we joined and did our chain four into. So right into there is going to be the third double treble before we go back for our last three stitches. And then from here, we'll simply slip stitch into the top of that very first double treble crochet of the round in order to join. And from here, we can go ahead and tie off. And there we are with the very first row. And now for our next row, going to attach our yarn right into the same spot in which we tied off our last row. And then from here, chain four. Now this gets slightly different. We're going to double treble crochet, but we're going to move backwards and we're going to double treble crochet into these last three stitches. Now from here, we're going to get my yarns out of the way. Skip over six stitches. So these three, the next three, and we're gonna double treble crochet into these three stitches here.
And then from here, we're going to work backwards into the previous three stitches. So these three, but for here, remember we want to work coming above. So we're gonna push this one back and work forward into these three. So to show you, if you can kind of see it, this one was above. So the next row, the stitches above go behind this and this one was behind. So it's now coming on up in front. Now going forward, we're going to skip over these three and we're gonna double treble crochet into these next three stitches. Now we're gonna work coming back in front into these three stitches here. So to show you that coming along, now we're just gonna continue working this until we get to the other side. Now that we're back here towards the front, now from here, we're going to work into these three stitches, one, two, three, but for this, because this one should show up onto the front of the stitches, we're gonna work behind and into those stitches. So pull forward, locate your stitches. And that first stitch should be where we attached this color yarn right into. One, two, three, four. And then from here, we can slip stitch right into the top of that very first double treble crochet stitch of the round in order to join and tie off. And so to show you how the pattern is coming along,
Now from here, I'm going to attach the clay color yarn into that same stitch where we ended our last row and chain four. Now we're gonna be working into, skip over, our first stitch is where we attached two, three, and then work into these three stitches. And then we're gonna work into these stitches right here. So our first stitch is going into that same stitch where we joined. But remember our pattern, this one was ahead in front of the stitches. Well, this one was behind, so this one will be in front. So we gotta work behind. So that first stitch where we slip stitch to join And then we're skipping over our next three and double treble crocheting into these next three stitches over here. And then coming back behind and working into these three stitches. And then skip over three, work into your next three.
And then at the beginning, we're going to slip stitch into the top of that very first double treble crochet of the round in order to join. And from here, we can tie off. And there we are. Show you the pattern emerging. Now we're just going to want to come back, attach our yarn here with, I'm switching over to the blue yarn, and we're going to repeat the second row, the stitches for that. So you might want to back up into the video to rewatch that one to make sure you got the stitches right. And we're just going to repeat going, our next row will be row two and then back to row one and back and forth and make sure you're also paying attention which sides are over under i'll show you my very first yeah you gotta pay attention i'll show you all my lovely mistakes i made into here so many all over the place so yes, just keep track of where your over and under are going. So it'll help greatly to make sure you don't have to tear apart your entire project. <clears throat> For the strap on this one, we're gonna create an I cord. Now, because we used four different colors throughout this project, I'm going to incorporate all four strands of my yarn into this strap. So begin, we're going to start off and create a slip knot. And then we're going to separate out our yarns. So I'm going to use the blue and the light brown, and then the green and the terracotta color. Now first what we're going to do is take our two, so here's our main color we're working, and here's our offset. I'm going to take the yarn and wrap it from front to back around our hook. Then we're going to bring our working end around, hook over, yarn over with the working end, and pull through all of the loops on the hook. And then we're going to simply just repeat that. Now here you might want to increase your hook size if you have another one sitting around. I'd say probably go with a six millimeter if you have one, but if you're still using your same four and a half millimeter crochet hook, just remember to work loosely while doing this. And we're just gonna repeat this till we have a length of strap that we're wanting for our bottle bag. So here we are, we have our I cord made. Now we're simply going to tie off. So taking all of our ends, yarning over on the hook and pull all your ends through. And then cut off our ends. From here, we're simply going to come right into our project. Now, if you see right here where they this kind of like bumps up right in between, we're gonna take our yarn, our I cord ends, and we're gonna weave it right into these spaces. So where this bump up is, 
right in between where the hook is. So we went in one. Now we're going to come out the next. And then here we'll just tie these together. And there we are. You can go ahead and weave in your remaining ends. And we now have our completed bottle bag with an adjustable strap. I find these also very useful, especially into the summer uh, for carrying, um, going to the beach or outside, carrying your sunblock, sun lotions, any type of skincare products, what we need while out into the sun. Fits perfectly right inside of these bags also. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a little thumbs up, like, let me know in the comment section what you think about this pattern. And if you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button with that bell notification next to it so you can get a heads up every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.